able to get to that fastball, get just enough of it, and deliver the walk-off. El héroe del, del juego, explica un poco qué estaba pensando ahí en la caja en ese turno. Este sabía que tenía la, una responsabilidad de ganar el juego, y bueno, está ayudar al equipo con un, con un buen hit y... Un hit de oro y bueno, gracias a Dios se dio esa victoria que, que es para ganar una serie. I knew I had the responsibility of trying to win the game, so luckily I was able to get that hit, the pitch of gold, I like to call it. Luckily we were able to get that win. East Sox, when Christian Bethencourt tied it up with a three-run home run, did this dugout say let's finish it? Cuando le empató Civi con el home run, dijo el dugout que okay, vamos a terminarlo. Claro que sí, este fue una gran motivación, este, estamos, estamos perdiendo por tres carreras, este fue el jorrón del empate y bueno, agradecido por eso, eh, nos ayudó mucho ese jorrón en la victoria y bueno, a seguir cosechando esos batazos para seguir ganando. Yeah, of course, that motivated us, you know, that was the inspiration that we needed, we were struggling to get runs at the time, but we were able to score there and luckily we were able to get the win because of it. There's no deficit too great for this offense, is there, Isak? Que no hay nada que no podemos hacer en esta ofensiva, ¿verdad? Claro que sí, este, estamos perdiendo por seis carreras y remontamos en, en los últimos innings y eso es bueno y la confianza que nos da para seguir haciendo agresivos en la ofensiva. No, of course, you know, to come back from six runs, we're very aggressive, we're very strong, and hey, we got to keep on doing it. And in this game, but we'll start with the very end there. Just Isak got just enough of that fastball. How impressive was that piece of hitting there from him? Pretty impressive. You know, we probably had the right two guys up with their bat-to-ball skills. Harold flies out to, to center. We don't move the run, but Isak, you know, he's dead pull hitter, but when he needs to go the other way or show the ability to, that was a big, big hit, and uh, we're High jumping around, high fiving. A bit of an inning before that, a lot of things happened, but just Beeks coming in there and getting that crucial strikeout. That was huge. Uh, so unfortunate for Clev. Don't have really an update other than that he'll get checked out by some doctors, I'm sure, tomorrow. Likely IL. Um, he was doing a nice job, kind of a quirky play. I'm sure his knee grabbed. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's the right one. Uh, and then Beeks, you know. Those are tough moments to get into when you, you're not expecting to be in the game in that moment, and you got to go face uh, you know, their best hitter in Anthony Rizzo. Fell behind 3-1 but came back and made big pitches. And then just that sixth inning, the guy's ability to chip away at a six-run deficit. The Bethancourt home run, the Siri going all the way home from second. What stood out? Yeah, I mean, well, Siri getting on the board with a home run, that was big. That kind of, I think, relaxed us a little bit. We knew our, we had our hands full facing Garrett. Um, he's really good, and we stayed at it. I really credit the guys for not getting overly frustrated early on. Stayed at it, had big at bats. When there was a ball left in the zone, it seemed like we were able to capitalize. Siri's base running, there's just not many people that have that awareness and certainly the speed that he does and then Betancourt, uh, the three-run homer is awesome. Big picture is winning a game like this down six against Cole and come back and win this game. Yeah, I mean, look, I don't know how you've quantified, magnified, whatever it is, games in, in, in May, but this was a big one and I know our, our, our clubhouse is pretty excited and they should be. Kevin, I know you could care less how to run score as long as they cross the plate, but there are 20 games this season. You've hit at least two homers. That's remarkable at this point in time of the season. It is. Um, we've been talking about the long ball a lot, and you know, I don't know if anybody expected us to hit homers at this rate. We felt we had guys that were equipped, but it does feel like they're kind of feeding off each other, and whatever power we got, everybody's putting it to use and, and coming up with big hits. Cole had a lot of success against you guys last year, and you've talked about this before, but just the different approach the guys have at the plate this year. Yeah. Making a difference against a pitcher like that. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, look, a couple years ago, we had some really good games against him. Last year, it felt like, yeah, every time he took the ball, it was a really quiet night offensively. There is a difference. Um, you know, generally speaking, he was on pace to kind of wear us down and then we go quiet uh, but I think the momentum that we've created this first month has certainly helped and uh, young guys having confidence that, that you know there's some veteran guys around that know they can do it and we piece it together against you know the, the best pitcher in baseball right now you know your run game isn't hurting you either What's that? Your run game is not hurting you either. Um, you can stolen bases and yeah, stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. I mean, we assume that with good team speed, we're going to be able to take advantage of some extra 90 feet here and there. It has felt like it's played to our favor here. Oh, as yeah. Light. Obviously, six-run deficit. You got to Garrett Cole for the three-run home run. Can you take us to just getting all of that ball? Um, you know, uh, the past week and a half, they've been working not just the Yankees, but the three teams we face have been 
getting a lot of breaking balls. So I've been obviously working on and trying to get better. And um, yesterday and today, I've been putting more emphasis on the breaking ball. And, and I knew at some point he was going to throw me one. Um, and um, I just sat on it and and tried to put my best swing. You look pretty pumped after that. We usually don't see quite that much emotion out of you. What was going through your mind? Uh, no, I, I was just happy uh, to see all the dog out, all the fans, and, and you know, um, it's a special moment. You know, you, you tie the game uh, against one of the best pitchers in the game, and um, I don't think there's nothing wrong with celebrate that. He's talk Paredes is just delivering in that moment. How impressive was that piece of hitting for him? Um, that was amazing. Uh, Paredes has been doing it a uh, great all year and you know having uh, not just Paredes but uh, guys uh, a lineup that can do that from one to nine that's that's pretty pretty special it's only May but you came from six runs down against Garrett Cole and won this game what is what does a win like this mean even in May uh, it means that we win the game you know uh, every time we can come back every time we can play 27 outs as we should every night uh, it doesn't matter if we're down by three or four or ten uh, we, we, got, we got to be, give ourselves a chance and always play 27 outs does it mean anything who you did it against in terms of it being an American League East opponent um, you know we go out there and try to play play and win every game it doesn't matter who they are and it doesn't matter what team are they and um, you know if if, if, if if it comes against our division rivals um, it's even better because you know we, we keep ourselves on top and you know we we just go out there and play every day early in the game another key moment Jose Siri coming all the way home from second what do you think of those wheels he turned on <laughs> Siri is amazing. Uh, it's amazing all the things he can do and uh, all the things he knows he can do. And, you know, uh, when you see plays like that, you know, you, you just got to tip your cap. And, you know, he's, he's an amazing ball player. We love having him here. And, and you know, he's fun, you know. Jalen, a tight situation coming in in an inning where a lot happened. What was what was key for you there getting that strikeout? Um, just coming in, you know, it's tough to watch Clev go down, uh, obviously. Uh, just tough to watch. Love that guy. He's a good guy, good teammate. So I just wanted to pick him up, and uh, you know, it's a big. Felt like a big game, you know. So it was fun, and uh, was you know happy with the outcome. You showed a little emotion when you came off the mound. Pretty amped up. Is that part of just this being a big game? Also getting that out after what happened to Clev. You guys are so close. I mean, what was that emotion? I think it was a lot of things. You know, I mean, really. I mean, we really wanted to win. Obviously, the year hasn't for me hasn't gone as good as I've wanted it to. You know, I've given up a lot of runs that um, I feel like I should have pitched better. So I'm just trying to get back on the right track. And um, you know, just got excited. We're playing the Yankees. Um, a lot of people and a lot of people here. So just exciting moment, moment, and uh, enjoyed it. That piece of hitting by Isak Paredes. How impressive was that in that moment to deliver that? Absolutely. I mean, I think that's the second one. I think I saw somebody said that. Uh, you know, he's just a great hitter. Obviously, all of our guys have been swinging it really well this year. And even, you know, even when we were down, whatever, 6-0, to zero, whatever it was, we just felt like we're not out of this game. Um, and Isak is a big part of that. We just feel very confident in our guys. The nature of this, you got out of it in the 10th. Uh, you came from six runs down against Cole. Big crowd. Was this a little bit more than a game in May? A little bit more meaning to what happened out there today? I don't know if it's you know more meaning. You know we want to want to win. Obviously, there's been some tension between us the last couple of days. Uh, but I think every game we want to win, and every game's exciting in the big leagues.